Um, for me, digital art um, is uh, pretty much everything, or at least I think today everything is digital art, or like all art is made with digital tools, or it's like uh, promoted or displayed through digital means. I think the, the idea, the notion of digital art was coined when we did see the transition between uh, the analog and the digital. However, that was quite a long time ago, so I think digital art as a term is kind of uh, old. There are a lot of categories of digital art. There is, uh, you know, media art, new media art, there is now post-internet art, uh, digital art, um, but um, I think pretty much now they are getting flattened by the just general term of art. And the only thing that maintained those kind of terms alive is because in the 90s they have been, um, uh, they have been created in the 90s there were, like, uh, there, were, there were quite a bit of funding for this new medium um, that actually now is not even like more present that much. Um, and so a lot of like departments like in the universities were created that were like very about digital art. Uh, some museums of digital art were created. And so there are those institutions out there that they need to maintain that term digital art. Uh, but at the same time, I can see that from now, now I think they're already like in a decline. And I think from now in 10, 20 years, there won't be need to have the name of digital art. Um, I was doing digital art already when I was a teenager. So internet back then was um, very young. So it was like with very the early computers and browsers. Uh, I started to do uh, internet art because I wasn't happy about uh, co contemporary art, like art in general, um, simply because I found it uh, um, too elitist and not reaching a broader audience and not communicating um, meaningful um, messages. My work is also very uh, research-based um, and it's also uh, try to uh, create reactions from the subject and the target of the work and try also to propose solutions, uh, so it's very active in that. Uh, so to me, yes, the public is the first thing and that's why I also do art that seems very political, but actually to me it's not that it's political art, it's actually uh, art that talks to people and is about what matter to people. So since my work want to uh, create these reactions from the target the subject of the work, I try to, in that case I try to be very provocative because the only way to get are reactions. And so those provocations, they uh, sometimes end up in legal reactions. And those legal reactions to me are very the most important thing because it confirms what I was trying to question for the target. And I think it's not necessary to archive everything. Uh, you know, some, some of these works are very ephemeral, like, uh, um, like performances. So you don't need to archive, you cannot archive the context of a performance. And so I don't see, sometimes I don't think you need to, con to conserve the software, for instance. Maybe you want to conserve something else. But nevertheless, you know, like this conservation question is also about who gets to get conserved because that's like an institutional problem where what institution, what is the uh, responsibility of the institution to select the artists that they want to conserve. Uh, I always been uh, anti-copyright, against the copyright, but now I am reconsidering it and I'm not the only one. So I come from the generation of like uh, um, absolute digital freedom or like internet freedom, absolute. Uh, but now, you know, that was early on, uh, internet years, but now we see that corporations, uh, big internet companies took advantage of that freedom. 
and they are the only one that they can exercise that freedom at this point. So the simple answer is uh, copyright is important, but um, there is like a spectrum between having something completely locked down and having something completely free. And the in, in the spectrum, you need to find the context, with the specific context, and the reasons. And you know, there are several parameters that you need to consider. Um, and that's also just you know the future of the internet of technology that needs to get way more sophisticated, legally and economically. Uh, information technology now is becoming dangerous for people, as much as uh, um, biotechnology. Uh, or other kind of technology or even like weapons so we do ban weapons we do ban uh, medicines we do ban uh, biotechnology that's dangerous um, and as such as we should also ban some information technology that is dangerous